especially if you're in the path of personal development or even awakening, we experience a lot of these limiting beliefs that comes from our past and until and unless we are able to get rid of these limiting beliefs that are caused by holding on to the past, we can't really experience any form of personal growth. And in this video, I want to talk about this concept of past and how it is holding us back in our lives and why it's the best for us to let it go right now so we can become a more freer version of ourselves. So if you're interested, stay tuned and let's get started. Welcome back to this video. My name is Rab and I help people empower themselves by educating them on human behaviors and emotions. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to get rid of the past. Now, if you have suffered through traumas and abuse in your life, there is no justification for what happened back in the day. But if your mind keeps repeating all these memories, keeping you stuck in these negative loops all the time, it's your job to get rid of that and be free of the past. If we have to explore the concept of the past, it doesn't actually exist in this reality. Right now, the only thing that exists here is the present moment. But the concept of the past only exists in our mind as a projection of what happened back in the day. There were probably a lot of memories that happened back in your childhood, right? Whether it be good or bad, but you only hold on to certain memories that have a lot of emotional significance. Especially if you have suffered through intense traumas or some kind of abuse, it becomes more vivid and the more you keep repeating it, it just stays there. It just gets stuck like it's a part of your identity and that's what exactly it is. And it's our job to get rid of these, especially if they are negative memories which keeps you stuck. Because all you're doing is you're hurting yourself. You're keeping yourself stuck as a victim of what happened to you because of the situation. Being in a victim mode is just giving your power away to everyone around you. And you're basically not doing anything about it, you know. A lot of people complain about the society being wrong, the government being wrong, the Illuminati, the, all these kind of like conspiracy theories that's keeping you stuck. If you truly understand that you have the power to change your own reality and act from your best, that's all you need. All these external forces, they're not gonna hold you back on your process of spiritual growth. Do you think people haven't spiritually grown because of the things that happen in the world outside because of corruption, because of government, because of all these things happen that's outside of you. And if you had a bad upbringing or maybe bad memories in your childhood, do you think that's gonna keep you stuck for the rest of your life? For me personally, I've been verbally, physically abused in my own family, although I love my family very much. And I've also been bullied at school. So I could easily say that my life is just not worth it. I'm not worthy of anything and I just feel powerless because I don't have that kind of confidence. But you know what? I was in that mode for a long time, for the longest times, probably for about like 10, 15 years, even after that incident happened. Eventually, I had to be really truthful to myself and acknowledge that whatever happened was in the past. Now, if I, if I wanted to do something good with my own life, I had to actually deal with my current reality and shape it the way I want it to be, right? It's all about law of attraction. It's all about how you can manifest your own reality to get it to the way you want it to be. And it's totally possible. But if you feel like you've been a victim of what happened back in the day, it's never gonna let you grow. And that's the biggest problem of holding on to these painful traumas and abusive memories from your past. It's just gonna keep you stuck. Now let's talk about how we can let go of the past and I'm going to give you three simple concepts that if you can apply into your life right now, it's going to be so much easier so you can let go of the past right away. The first thing that I want to suggest is introspection and journaling. So basically what introspection means is that try to understand what is happening inside of your body instead of just trying to place your focus outside in the world. For example, when people get emotional or they experience emotions such as anger and fear, they're very quick to just put their focus on the outside world, never looking at what's happening inside of them because there might have been certain triggers that made them angry or fearful, but the truth is that the emotion is coming from deep within yourself, right? It's probably just that reaction that happens right away whenever you feel there's some kind of unease or discomfort in the situation outside of you, right? But what's happening is truly the emotions are just coming outside of you. Just try to be more introspective and try to figure out 
which aspects of your life is being held back because of the past that you have gone through. For example, there might be some limiting beliefs that came back all the way from your past. A simple one is just money doesn't grow in tree. That's a limiting belief too, right? And if there were people around your household who kept repeating this mantra all the time, you definitely would believe that money doesn't grow in tree and money is something that's hard to get. And that was one of the biggest negative beliefs that I had in one of in my own life. And I felt like money was really hard to attain, so I had to like keep grinding to get it. I found out that making money isn't a hard thing as I used to believe as it was. Because all those things, negative beliefs that I had about money was just coming out from my childhood when my parents told me that you know, money was hard to make or I wasn't worthy of handling money or things like that, right? So when you start to focus on these negative beliefs, you start to discover all these memories of the past, right? And you know which exactly are the ones you have to let go of in order to become a more fuller version of yourself. So try to journal these things out too so you can have a better sense of all the negative memories that you might have in your past that you should let go of right now. Now the next step that I want to talk about is forgiveness. Now I have made a video about this separately and I talk about seven different steps which you can apply to forgive somebody. And these are very quick steps to be honest and it also talks about like how you can li write a letter to somebody to forgive them for all the pains that they've caused in your life. And you don't even have to post the letter or send them the letter or email them or anything like that. It's just for you to forgive them, to let go of that resentment. And when you do this, it's just gonna create so much space so much freedom in your life to do some new things so you can grow yourself tremendously in the future. And in the video about forgiveness, I mentioned a quote about Buddha right in the very beginning, uh, which says that resentment is holding on to the anger and expecting the other person to get burned. And that's what holding on to past and the negative uh, memories from the past is like that too you know so it's best for us to let it go and the way we let it go is definitely by forgiving the people who are associated with these traumatic memories now the last step to letting go of the past is basically being in the present moment as long as you're in the present moment truly you won't be able to feel all these memories from the past because past really is just a projection of the memories that happened back in the day. Now, it doesn't exist in the current reality, but as long as you start bringing it in your mind and start ruminating about it, it's always gonna be there. But if you stay in the present moment, it's just gonna disappear, it's just gonna melt away. So you can be more grounded. Just try to be here right now. Just try to do this for a second, okay? Just try to look at that screen where you are seeing me from. Besides this moment, there's nothing else happening around you. There might be some other things that are going on in the surrounding, maybe in the room that you're sitting in, or maybe if you're driving, you might be listening to some sounds. Those things, that's what is in the present moment. But besides that, there's nothing else. And the present is so quick to pass by that if we just Keep focusing on the things that's happening one after another. For example, if you're just focusing on my voice right now, there will be no need to worry about the past. If you are just focused on the present moment, to just not judge it, but if you just observe it. Now, this is not a quick fix thing and it's not gonna solve your problem. What it's gonna do is make you more aware whenever you start falling into the same old traps of thinking back to the past. It's gonna make you more aware and you can bring yourself back to the present moment. And when you do that, automatically, you'll be able to get rid of the past. Now, bonding this process of being in the moment along with forgiveness and introspection is going to help you get rid of the past more permanently. And whenever these kinds of negative thoughts or limiting beliefs starts to appear in your consciousness or your thoughts, you'll start to become more aware and just let it go more and more easily. And that's when you start to experience real growth, real freedom in your life. And that's the beauty about letting go of the past. Now, I hope you were able to truly grasp the concept that I shared with you in this video, because if you're able to apply these things into your life, you'll experience so much growth and freedom that you could have never imagined before, because letting go of the past can be a very tremendously powerful thing. 
Now, if you haven't subscribed to this channel already, please feel free to do so right now because there's always awesome contests like this rolling in. If you want to work one-on-one -on -one with me, right now I'm offering a very inexpensive one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions. So if you want to take advantage of that, the link is in the description below. And with that being said, guys, I want to wish you all the very best. Goodbye and namaste.